Here I'll show you how to mount the Ninja felt wheel on the Ninja back pad. You simply remove the back sticker off of the brace. And you go ahead and place it on the Ninja disc. Don't press it all the way down yet. What you want to do is align the Ninja disc fins. And once you've kind of established all of them to be centric, you go ahead and press firmly onto every single fin to make sure that PSA adhesive adheres to every single fin of the Ninja disc. So now I'll go ahead, place it on, run it at full speed. And what we're trying to achieve is just to chew it nice and flat. So you can either put an abrasive on a piece of wood, on a piece of metal, or merely use your purple ceramic to go ahead and flatten it out. It's not too difficult, but I'll just use a piece of wood. And right here I have a 60 grit micro finishing film, which is similar to, I would say, a 220 or a 120 grit purple ceramic. Running at full speed, you want to start in the center and lift up flat. Try to maintain a nice flat touch against the entire disc. So again, at the tip, and then hold it flat, moving it around ever so slightly. If you touch it, it should go ahead and feel very smooth to the touch, which this one does. You can always use a finer, this is a 15 micron abrasive, just to smooth it out just ever so slightly. And from here, you can't see much, but it's much more smoother and true. I'll go ahead and apply the high polishing dual tool compound, and you want to apply it liberally. Go ahead and saturate every fiber of the felt to get it in, even on the corners. So go ahead inside, outside. Now from here, you should grab something metal. Something metal that's flat, so you can go ahead and press the compound into the fibers of the felt. All the way to the edge, and go ahead and apply again another liberal amount. Now, you can go ahead and touch it one more time with the finer one and apply compound again. But for the most part, let me show you once. Let me touch it so you can see what it looks like. It should look like this. And as you continuously use it, it should start to begin to look like mine. And the advantage of having the Ninja Disc backing on your felt is you don't ever encounter groove lines and have to ever treat your wheel again. This is the only time that you need to treat the felt wheel. Other than that, it'll always maintain a true and flat surface, just as you see on my felt wheel.